that caused the global financial crisis. And there's the plunge in credit from 15% of GDP equivalent down to minus 5%. And I wonder they had a good party in Thailand. That took me seven minutes. The influential contrarian economist, Steve Keen. Brilliant economist that criticizes much of modern economics. He is someone that each and every one of us has to listen to, whether we agree or disagree. Here's Steve Keen. I've got a challenge for all the Excel and Julia and Pivot Table and Tableau experts out there. I want to see how fast you can do something I'm about to do in my new software called Ravel. What I want to show is what caused the global financial crisis, which of course most economists didn't see coming. Now the bank maintains a whole lot of databases. One of them shows debt levels around the world. I'm now going to try to import that into Ravel. And so I'm going to set up the clock here and then go to the file import in Ravel, zoom in a bit there. And when the form comes up, choose a file, which is the abbreviated file that I've got there, which is this one. Let's load that, load it in. And then I've got country by sector by unit type. Uh, the horizontal dimension is time, so I'll just call this date. And so it's a time dimension and give it the format of year dash Q per quarter. Let's import the data in. And now I can attach that to a Ravel. That's a, a mock version to show you what you're actually working with if you've never seen the program before. I want to, uh, I want to look, look by date by country rather than the other way around. And I've got all countries. Uh, just use the arrow key to go move that move it, that in properly. So all countries, and then I want to look at uh, household debt, also no non financial private non financial sector debt, and I want to look at uh, data by the unit down here. It's got a unit type, so I want to see debt as a in domestic currency, which is here, and I can now can define that as a variable, which is going to be just call it private and superscript DC for domestic currency. And I close the lock and this is like a SQL statement. So it just brings out country by date where sector is private non-financial sector or unit type is domestic currency. Bring down another lock, attach that here and move the selector to percent of GDP. This is now private debt in percentage terms, percent of GDP. Lock that together. Now that I've done that, I can just tidy things up a bit, put this into uh, compressed format, make it make it easier to see. And now if I divide private debt and domestic currency by private debt as a percentage of GDP, and then put that through a percentage operator to multiply by 100 and cancel out the fact that I was dividing by the percentage rather than the ratio, that is now GDP in domestic currency for the 43 countries in the database over 335 quarters. So you can take a fast look at that. I'll just attach that down here. I can actually move this out of the way, not get in the way of the rest of the calculations. So that's the information I'll just show it so that you've got it by uh, the, the end of the data rather than the beginning. So that's the data for those particular countries. That's given us GDP. What I want also is the annual change in private debt. So what I've got to do is put that through a change operator and that's up here. So I choose the change operator here, attach those two together, edit the change operator so that it looks to change over the time dimension, which is year rather than the country dimension. So I choose date here and go back four quarters because that's one year. So I can now call this credit, attach that to the output of the change block. And then let's just move this around a bit. Divide that by GDP and put that through a percentage operator. And that is now credit as the percentage of GDP. Right, and now I can take a copy of credit and a copy of private debt as a percentage of GDP. And let's make them put them in the other order there and attach them to another couple of ravels. You have as many ravels as you like in a document. One there and one down here. And then 
rubber band and choose, I was going to choose a uh, link selected Ravel. So whatever I do to one is done to the other. Put this one in editor mode. Okay. And let's just move all this sideways a bit. And now bring down a couple of charts. So whack one there and take a copy of that and paste that down here. Attach credit down here and debt level there. And currently you've got all the countries turning up, which is rather too many. So I'm going to, uh, pardon me, some of the stuff is turning up on the menu on my, my screen down below uh, the monitor I'm recording from. So I'll drag it up here so you can see. So I'm going to sort the axis forward. And having done that, I know that I've got the United States at the end of the axis rather than halfway through. And there is America's private debt to GDP ratio. And there's the plunge in credit from 15% of GDP equivalent down to minus 5% pretty much that caused the global financial crisis. If I then move the indicator to Japan, which should have been the canary in the coal mine for all the stuff if we weren't led by economists who don't know what the hell they're talking about. Uh, that crisis began in 1990. You can see credit peaked at 26% of GDP then and fell to minus 10. And let's take a look at Thailand, which is the Asian financial crisis. There's Thailand and the Asian financial crisis began in 1997. There's the end of 1996. And you can see the plunge from credit being 44% of GDP in 1995. Then no wonder they had a good party in Thailand. Bit of a flip and turn around. 1997, the crisis begins from 35% of GDP and it falls down to minus 30% of GDP. So it took me seven minutes. Have a go and tell me how long it takes you to do it in your favorite program. Annoy a neoclassical devotee. Get my funny money bundle for free. They want you to see through the fantasy peddled by mainstream economists. They think they're leading us to economic equilibrium, but instead, They've led us into economic and ecological crises. So pause this video now and join about 10,000 other truth seekers in downloading the Funny Money Bundle inside our WhatsApp community by going to new.stevekeenfree.com as well. It's free this week. Reveal what hides, expose the lies, new.stevekeenfree.com for the wise.